we're in a, a draining cycle for the, the deep water trough. But I just want to show you the roots here of this wheatgrass, which can be harvested about every 10 days in the summer, in the warm weather, or when the, when the heat's on. Uh, you can see they've been stained by coffee. Their little teeth have coffee stains. And, uh, but we can shake some of that off if we want. And a little bit of microbial, you know, muck on some of them. But uh, generally the ones that are more decomposing. Like these that are not really even connected to anything. But, um, you know, something, no doubt, because there's little roots on it. But these roots are staying healthy with the, with the uh, organics that we have in the solution, giving it a little stain. And um, yet the roots are dividing up really nicely. So we do these on little metal trays, put a, a layer of burlap on top of that, and they fit in the troughs. Um, and they can be handled at a small size, this is one foot wide. So we seed the, 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 uh, um, the burlap, and the roots go then through the, to the water. Um, and we have a, a very easy system for producing and then harvesting. You just take this with you, carry it over to your juicing or your cutting table and, uh, and then just uh, scissor it off or, or, or get uh, some mechanical shears and take it off if you're using a large area. If we're using, if we're growing wheatgrass in this 40-foot biogarden trough, then we would produce uh, a, a, a complete um, uh, tray of wheatgrass every 10 days from seed to sow, seed to harvest. And that would produce about a pound per square foot of grass if it's cut properly. A pound of, of grass every square foot, and this table, 40 feet long, foot and a half wide, is 60 times 2 is 120 square feet. And at a, on 120 square feet, we can produce 120 pounds every 10 days of wheatgrass. 120 pounds. If you sell wheatgrass for 10 bucks a pound, you're going to make a small fortune. If you sell it for $5 a pound, you're going to have a lot of happy customers and a very efficient operation. And 120, 360 pounds a month at $5 is $1,800 in wheatgrass if you're, under, if you're selling it lower than anybody else is selling it to the retail. And the, and the labor is minimal. There is no dirt. And... You know, if you finish it off, if you finish the, the wheatgrass product and sell it in, as a packaged finished product, then it's also more valuable because then you get the retail value for whatever the product is. And sell it for 10, sell it for 15 in, uh, in a juice, you know, equivalent or more. Organic juices are going pretty high and add, adding wheatgrass to a smoothie or just as a shot is super nutritious. And entirely organic, if we're looking at our biotroph and the nutrients that we're using, and very good for you. So, yeah, and this is how we would like to make a, a greenhouse, a soilless greenhouse operation, both organic, easy, uh, and very low labor. And if we, if we can finish our products, take it another step, because we've got more time on our hands and we're more efficient, then we can, we can really make good revenue and good profits from our own small greenhouse. In this case, we're in a 3,000 square foot greenhouse, but we got heater and fans and, and automated water system and, and our own nutrients being produced inside this greenhouse from organic biomass. So, yes. 1800 a month, sell your, your wheatgrass for $5 a pound, make $1,800 a month on this one table. One table. 3600 if you sell it for 15 and you're selling it retail. So anyway, that's, uh, 
that's one row of wheatgrass. You could do two rows over here and double that. $3,600 a month if you're doing one, if you're doing uh, $5 a pound for, for your wheatgrass. Anyway, that's, uh, that's how we grow wheatgrass, and uh, that's how we do it in the bio garden. Thanks for watching.